welcome back to Avocados and Apples. In today's video, I'll be making delicious, easy, vegetarian, slow cooker dish. And it's called Mexican quinoa casserole. I'm gonna put the recipe on the screen and all of the ingredients, so I'll just explain the ingredients as I go. So first, I pre-cut some onion. Um, we're gonna cut some peppers. So let's start cutting it. Now we're gonna dice our garlic. You're gonna use two cloves of garlic. Um, if you really like garlic, you can add more garlic. And if you have a garlic presser, you can um, use that too. But I'm just gonna dice my garlic today. Now that we have pre-cut our vegetables, we're now going to start adding everything into our slow cooker dish. You're first going to start off with two cups of vegetable broth. Now we're going to add in one cup of uncooked quinoa. We're also going to add in some diced tomatoes. Now we're going to stir it all together. Now we're going to add in our vegetables. Then we're going to add in our strained and drained black beans. One can. And then we're going to add two cups of corn. Now we're going to stir it all together. we get to add in our spices. You can add half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You're going to add one tablespoon of chili powder. You can add one teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of oregano. Now we're going to stir it all together one last time. Now that everything's in there, we are going to turn on our slow cooker to high for two and a half to three hours, depending on your kind of slow cooker. See you then. Okay, now that everything is all mixed together and it has been cooking for a while, we're now going to add in our cheese. You can shred some cheese or you can use like packaged cheese. I'm using Mexican packaged cheese. Um, and then after we've added in our cheese, we're going to let it sit for another 10 minutes for the cheese to melt. Let it sit. Don't forget to give this video a subscribe and a like if you like this video. Stay safe and healthy. Bye!